Okay, and we're back. That was a great performance by the Grays Lake Middle School Band, Steve Thomas, their conductor. That's actually up from my neck of the woods. Uh, I, I live in uh, the Gurney Lake Villa area, and that's just down the road from us. So great to hear them performing. Uh, we heard Brian Balmage's Nevermore, which is actually based on the, the uh, poem The Raven by okay. uh, Edgar Allan Poe, and then uh, Frankie Kelly's Amazing Grace. And uh, that last piece was The Vikings by Andrew Boyston. It kind of sounded like Vikings in there. It, it did. Uh, I didn't know that piece. And yeah, I, I didn't I either. I know but I didn't know that particular composition. I liked it a lot. All right. Wonderful. So one more band uh, coming up in the uh, uh, middle school, junior high uh, division here, and that's uh, the uh, honor band of 2016. Right. Yes. So this means that uh, they were the top band from last year. Is that right. right. What, what happens, as I understand it, is that uh, the adjudicators will choose one band out of each class mm -hmm. that they feel was really exemplary, and then they will be designated the honor band for the next year. So they don't have to submit a recording like the rest of the bands do to come back here next year, and then they're pr they perform in that featured spot, and they only get that. Uh, you know, they're only have that opportunity every two every, every other every year other because year, right. you know now the next year they will need to submit and that type of thing. So, so that's how that works, as I understand it, anyway. Well, it was an exciting performance last year from the Franklin Middle School. Yes, uh, uh, that I heard, and so I'm looking forward to this one this year. This is uh, going to be Andrew Boyson's uh, unraveling, mm -hmm. not his own personal unraveling. This composition, nope. actually. Right. I actually what I what I read about it was that it's. Uh, the the piece is written where the the theme starts and then kind of unravels as the piece goes and hence the term unravel. Awesome. And then uh, the the next one is one of my personal favorites. I love La Fiesta Mexicana by H. Owen Reed and the mass movement is my favorite part of that. Yeah, um, for those in the audience not familiar with the piece, uh, H. Owen Reed is a conductor from Michigan, right? University of Michigan was it? And uh, or Michigan State? I'm trying to remember now. Anyway, that's all right. Oh, I shouldn't have brought that up. Sorry about that. But anyway, in 1949, he was on a Guggenheim Fellowship in Mexico and uh, was inspired to write this piece when he returned. And it's about the uh, fiesta, the Mexican fiesta. And this middle movement is sort of a, a reminder or a very reflective pe uh, section of the piece to re remember that the whole point of fiesta is that this is a religious ceremony. It's a religious celebration. So it opens with this big, you know, uh, Aztec dance and, and fiery, and then it comes down to the mass and then comes back with the final carnival uh, movement. So we'll be hearing the mass, which is really great. And then uh, finish with uh, Summer Dances by Brian Balmages. Yep, nice program. So this will be, uh, 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 I'm sure, beautifully executed. And then we'll have, uh, we'll be back with you briefly, and maybe just a slight small break while the judges convene, and then we'll bring you uh, somewhere around 2 o'clock or so, uh, the award ceremony uh, for this first right, for edition. For the middle school, middle school, junior high, exactly. Yep. So. Yeah, the, uh, the McCracken Middle School program is, is just an amazing program. It's had a very long history. Um, my wife actually is a graduate of uh, the school before it was McCracken. It used to be called uh, Oakview, if I remember correctly. And, uh, and then they changed the name at, at some point uh, after she had left. Um, she was not in Chip's band. She was in uh, Chip's predecessor, Don Stalberg, was her band director. Very influential in her life. Um, and then uh, Chip came in, uh, we think, 20 years ago, which I can't believe that it's been 20 right. already. Oh, it, you know, it's gone by bad, like a flash. But he has taken this program that was already very, very good in its own right and has really taken it to a, a, a world-class level. This is an amazing program. Uh, these kids play like college bands in, in a lot of respects. A very, very good tone, very high-quality work. Yeah, you, it's going to be interesting to hear. <coughs> um, so, yeah, uh, anyway... Um, so looking forward to hearing their, their performance. I know my wife is sitting at home watching the uh, webcast as a proud alumna and, uh, and ready to uh, watch this performance. Oh, we got lots of uh, folks coming in to, uh, for the award ceremony after this, too. So uh, stick around, and then uh, after the award ceremony, uh, uh, we'll hear a, word, a couple of words from our sponsors, and then we'll be back at 2.30 uh, with the Class 1A uh, uh, division, starting with Tri-Valley High School uh, from Sullivan, Illinois. Uh, under the direction of Dan Marcott. So that's yep. that'll start at around 2.30. Uh, sure. So that's where the, the, the sort of the broadcast breaks are. 5.15 tonight's a dinner break uh, for an hour, and then it continues at 6.15 until uh, 9.15, where we're going to hear the Illinois Wind Orchestra performing here tonight uh, as, a, as a brief uh, interlude before uh, the award ceremony for Class 1A and 2A tonight at 9.30. Sure. Maybe a quick little shout-out to our sponsors, since Please. we really appreciate everything that... Uh, they do, uh, you know, first of all, just uh, speaking as 
Executive Director of Festivals of Music. We're proud to be a sponsor of this uh, activity, uh, and uh, and uh, getting this webcast out there really falls in line with our educational mission. So we're we're pleased to be a part of that. Uh, we've got lots of other wonderful people. Uh, a couple of our uh, travel partners that we work with, Bob Rogers Travel and Super Holiday Tours. We appreciate their support of this broadcast. Uh, Eastman Winds uh, and uh, Manhattan Beach Music. Uh, Jupiter Band Instruments, Mapex Drums, and Majestic Percussion. Uh, that was uh, Jupiter, Mapex, and Majestic have the combined Get Banded, right? That's their That's website. Uh, if you go to uh, getbanded.com, it's a great place for you to share your stories uh, from school band. And we know that there's always great stories out there, um, probably some more appropriate to share than others. But, <laughs> uh, but at any rate, uh, th there's great uh, influences that this, uh, this type of activity has on people and they want to hear your stories so please go and uh, and share those and read others as well uh, also want to uh, mention edemotic uh, hearing protection uh, so they manufacture earplugs for musicians specially designed to allow you to still hear the music happening without it becoming damaging to your hearing uh, very very critical to not only the the what are known as typically the loud instruments like percussion you know brass players that type of thing but also even uh, you know flute and piccolo players, uh, piccolo especially when you've got that instrument so close to your ears, uh, important to protect that. And conductors as well. It's that's one of the the sad things about the profession is sometimes conductors, if they're in a uh, a room that isn't really built to be conducive to rehearsal, can have a high sound volume level, and that can be detrimental to the hearing. So For it's great sure. to have that product. Yeah, it's great to have the profile of it here on this uh, broadcast too, to be uh, to be able to talk about that because it's an important. Uh, piece of preventative uh, thing that, that ev really everybody should be doing if they're in, in, a, in a group that's pr you know producing a huge amount of sound. Absolutely. For sure. So uh, we also, and uh, interesting for uh, us on this broadcast too, to have some retailers, uh, music retailers involved. Yes. Which is an important partnership uh, with uh, music education. Uh, so we have Quinlan and Fabish and the Music Shop, uh, both great uh, Illinois school music dealers. Yes, yeah. 